Hi everyone, it's Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com. Today we're going to talk about a new baby monitor and we're going to do it from my office and here's why. We're talking about the Summer Infant Peak Plus Internet Baby Monitor System and my internet is on my computer which is in my office so I'm going to show you how I set it up and how easy it is to use. Now this baby monitor is different because it allows you to peek in or view your baby from your smartphone, your tablet, or even on your PC. Um, so this one, it's, it's really neat. So if you travel a lot or you're, you're at work and you want to peek in on your baby, maybe the baby's with the babysitter or with you know your significant other, this is a really great option. So let me show you what it comes with. First of all, it comes with a parent unit, so you can still just use it just like a regular baby video monitor. It comes with a cord to plug it in, but it does go off a rechargeable battery. It comes with one camera. Now this one does not take batteries, so it does have to be plugged in. It's a very long cord, so you'll be able to plug it in and position it where you want, and you can even hang it on the wall. Then it comes with the gateway. Now this, it also comes with some cords for this. This is going to plug into your wireless router, and this is what's going to make it work through your smartphone and your tablet and things like that. Um, but unlike other baby monitors that have come on the market that, you know, tell you that you can view your baby through the internet like that, they've been impossible to set up. Let me tell you, you're on the phone with customer service. It's a nightmare. That's what I love about this monitor. This monitor here, so easy to set up. Let me tell you, you literally plug this in and you're pretty much ready to go. It couldn't be easier. Right into, There's a landline that goes into your wireless router. It goes in for power and you are set up. You register it online um, with your email address and your password so that the signal is secure so that you're the only one logging in to see your baby. Um, so let me just take, give you a quick look at first the parent unit. Now the parent unit this is a smaller screen than some of their other ones. It's only two and a half inches. It is full color. It has the black and white at night. It has a belt clip and a stand. It has a volume control, an on off video button, and um, also the plug to plug it in. Now, what it doesn't have is it doesn't have all the extras. So here's what I'm going to say about this. I really like this for the fact that it does work with the internet and that is awesome but they've taken away all of the other bells and whistles. So this one is their baby touch. And as you can see the difference of the screens, if they could mend, like mold these together into one with all of these features, but this internet possibility, it would be a perfect monitor. I'm, I'm telling you, because I love the baby touch because it has the pan and the scan and the, all of that crazy stuff. Um, this one does not. This one does not have talkback feature. It does not have pan. It does not have zoom. It has the ability to look at your baby on the internet or from your smart devices, and that's it. There's no lullabies, there's no light night light. It's pretty basic video monitor, except for that great feature of being able to view your baby from other places. Um, the camera, the camera is a basic camera. Like I said, it's on off button, um, doesn't swivel, doesn't do anything like the baby touch does, but you can mount it, so I'll show you that in the room in a minute. Um, and let's well, actually, let's take this to the room and I'll show you. Okay, so my baby's sleeping, so I'm going to put it in my son's room just to show you. As you can see, there is plenty of cord. I do wish it ran off of batteries because sometimes an outlet isn't, you know, actually in the best place for the monitor, but it does have a very long cord. You plug it in, you turn it on, and your camera's ready to go. You just position it where you like. Now, don't... I shouldn't have to remind you of this, but please keep this out of reach of your baby. Your baby should never, ever be able to access this. This is a strangulation hazard, so mount it on the wall, but keep it close enough to your baby so that it's, you know, that you can see them at night and you can hear them, but just don't have it within arm's reach. They should never be able to touch this monitor. So now that I have the camera set up, let's go back to my office. Okay, now, first of all, don't mind this crazy bookshelf. It's a mess. It's my office. Um, it is what it is. So here's the gateway. This is where I plug it in. My wireless router is down there. It has the landline and it has the power cord and that's it. It's going to hide behind this plant right here because that's kind of what I do. And that is all I have to do and power it on. You know, if I power it on, this light will blink green and I'll know it's ready to go. Okay, so I quickly set up the gateway. I've set the camera up and now I have the parent unit. I turn it on. There's my son's room. Again, no pan or zoom, so I'm going to see what I'm going to see. But let me tell you that the picture is great, the quality is good, even the sound is really good on the parent unit. Now, with the highlight of the 
the monitor is the fact that I can watch it. Let's say I'm out of town. I can log in on my smartphone. So all I, I've downloaded the app for Summer Infant and see it's loading. Now I'm not going to show you my password or anything <laughs> because then you could look at my kids. Um, so I go ahead and I log in and we have, it's loading, there's my son's room and there's sound. And let me tell you, um, it's actually, let's see if you can see it even better. If I turn it, I can see the whole thing. So what's really great, and I'm going to turn this off because I, or I'm going to mute it. So here's the really good thing about this. And again, I can see that I can log in on my PC. I could do it on my smart tablet. Now here's the thing with the iPad. There isn't an iPad app. It's still the iPhone app. So the, the picture is smaller, but I can make it bigger like you do on the iPad. I just wish they had an iPad app so it could be big and beautiful. Um, okay, so let's talk about the quality of the picture. I have driven all around the city and watched and listened. And let me tell you, there is a couple blips of, you know, where it freezes or it's, but rarely. And I'm on 3G and I've tried it on both the iPad and the iPhone. And it's really good quality. It's kind of almost creepy big brother <laughs> because I can listen in on conversations. If I put this in my seven year old's room, I can totally find out what's going on, what she's saying, what she's grumbling about me from across the city. It's crazy. Um, so if I'm out of town, all I have to do is log in and as long as the camera's on, I'm listening to what's going on in my house. So again, super big brother and a little bit creepy, but still kind of intriguing, right? <laughs> so. Let me tell you, it hasn't messed up my internet at all. It doesn't mess, mess up my speed because it is plugged into the wireless router. Um, I, I, I think it's really cool. And if you travel a lot, how cool is it to be able to see, um, you know, what's going on? It, just in that bedroom, like I said, there's, it doesn't move around. So here's the thing. Here's what I would love to see Summer Infant do. Like I said, I would love for them to combine the features of the Baby Touch with the features of the Peak Plus. I would love to see the Peak Plus have all those great, the talkback feature, because you know what? And I know it, it's, it's technology. I'm sure it's super hard for me to talk into, <laughs> into my smartphone, but it's what I want to do when I'm watching. I'm like, hey, hey, because that's what I'm used to doing with a three-way monitor. So, and this one, even the parent unit does not have three-way talking. So I just wish that they would combine them because the Baby Touch is almost $100 cheaper than this one. Why? Because this is all new technology and you can, it has that internet feature, but I'm losing so many features with this one. So if I could just make this one, that's the best monitor you could possibly make. So that's my tip to Summer Infant is to combine the features. Give us back some of those features I love, like the pan and the zoom. That's, that's pretty cool on their baby touch. And I like the fact that the three-way talkback system. But if you want to know about the quality and how it works with your smartphone, it works really good. And it's great sound and great quality. And like I said, every once in a while the picture freezes, but nothing better than Skype. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. It, it works. So there you go. That's kind of my look at it. That's called the Peak Plus. Let's see, it's down here, Peak Plus. It's sold exclusively at Baby's Arrest right now. Probably will be sold elsewhere later. Um, but there you go. It does retail for 300, let me just double check here, $349. So it is expensive. But again, if you travel a lot or if you're at work a lot, it's definitely worth it for you, right? To be able to peek in and see what your kids are doing. So there you go. Um, that's my look at it. And I'm Holly Schultz from babygizmo.com.